Ice Cream Summer by Peter Cease Read by Mr. Kilby Ice Cream Summer I, Italo Marcioni, of New York City, patented the flat-bottomed ice cream cone in 1903 before anyone else. Dear Grandpa, thank you for your letter. Hi, Joe. How's your summer going? I hope you will tell me about what you learned this summer when we meet for our special trip. Love, Grandpa. So far, it's been a delicious summer. I am very busy. But don't worry. I am not forgetting about school. I read every day. Ice cream. Vanilla swirl. Mango explosion. Peachy peach. Raspberry. Pistachio. Pecan. Coffee. Cherry tornado. Coconut. Orange. Chocolate. Lime. Baked Alaska. Strawberry. Peanut butter. I am conquering big words like tornado and explosion. I write a lot. I am even creating my own book. I practice my math facts. 10 scoops plus 3 scoops equals... Sometimes I trip over a simple equation, but if I slow down, I always get it right. 10 minus 7 equals 3 minus 2 equals. Word problems are never a problem for me. I work them out on my own. If there are 65 days of summer and I eat one ice cream cone every day, how many ice cream cones will I eat before school starts? If each scoop costs 50 cents and I have $2 in my pocket, how many scoops can I get? And with the family. If all six of us eat one ice cream cone with two scoops, how many scoops do we eat in total? If the ice cream truck has five strawberry shortcakes and four of us buy one, how many are left? At day camp, my friends and I study all sorts of fascinating things. Today we learned cartography. That means how to make a map. Blueberry Hill. Cherry Orchard, Vanilla Lake, Watermelon Place, Coffee Alley, Iceland, Mango Rocks, Pistachio Cliff, Cocoa Island, Strawberry Mountains, Cookie Field, Raspberry Road, Chocolate Valley, Coconut Point. We take exciting field trips, too. And explore lots of new places. You can be sure my brain is still working. I am reading the encyclopedias you gave me. I am diving into world history. I am traveling to China. 
2,000 years ago, first ice cream. One, snow. Two, milk. Three, rice. Four, fruit. Five, mix it. Six, pound it. Seven, squish it. Eight, serve it. And researching the whole European continent. Marco Polo travels the Silk Road and brings recipes from China to Italy 500 to 700 years ago. Italian Queen Catherine de' Medici marries King Henry II of France and unites two countries in ice cream matrimony. Soon people all over Europe are eating ice cream. And I wouldn't forget American history. Quakers from Europe bring ice cream recipes to America. So does Thomas Jefferson. He adds vanilla and uses an 18-step recipe from France. Even George Washington loves this new treat. He buys his own ice cream machine. By 1813, ice cream is an official state dish. President James Madison serves it, topped with strawberries from First Lady Dolly Madison's garden at his second inaugural ball. Yum! 200 to 300 years ago. The Founding Fathers and I have a lot in common. I am discovering great inventors too. St. Louis, 1904. At the World's Fair, Frenchman Arnold Fomachou sells ice cream. Ernest Homwey sells Syrian Zalibia or waffles. Arnold runs out of paper cups. Ernest provides waffles to wrap ice cream. The first pointy bottomed ice cream cones are born. And dreaming up some inventions of my own. Ohio, 1920. Harry Burt experiments with dipping vanilla ice cream into melted chocolate. Ice cream on sticks are born. As you can see, Grandpa, I've been working hard all summer, though I always take a break on Sundays. I have definitely earned the special trip you mentioned. I can't wait to find out where we are going. To the top of Ice Cream Peak? Wow! This is the best summer ever. Ice cream peak.